what if I ended the video like this? Would y'all unsubscribe? <laughs> you would. Listen long, long enough, you can love me. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I'm back with somebody else's hair, and guess what? It is wine and wig stay. Clink, 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 clink. Okay, so today we're gonna be getting into a new wig. Y'all know it's springtime. You know it's time for us to be wearing a little bit more scalp out because I don't know if our foreheads can bear lace every single day and we don't want tan lines, okay? I don't wanna be my winter self and then my summer self. We need this all to be the same color. So, so as you saw in the beginning, this is a beautiful, curly you part wig and i can't wait to just throw on and show what she's giving before we go ahead and place on our spring ready easy install you part wig i need to ask y'all to do something just for me can you subscribe and can you hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time i post because i'm coming to you every single week with new types of wigs vlogs i'm coming to you every single week with unnecessary content so just subscribe oh I never told y'all what I was drinking. Y'all know I'm tired through and delay. Y'all know I'm as late as plan B. <laughs> but yes, I'm drinking green tea. Y'all know I'm a creature of habit. So y'all tell me what you're drinking down below while I go ahead and get into the details on this U Part wig. So I'm gonna say thank you to Eunice Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. Also providing the robe. Where's the, oh girl, my little boobs. <laughs> It's supposed to be up here. It's sitting where my almost where my areola should be. Like, girl, somebody give me some me. <laughs> Let me quit cackling and let's go ahead and get into the details on this wig. This wig that I have is the Eunice Hair Bia Bia. Ooh. This is the Eunice Hair Biolage U Part Curly wig. It is 16 inches long and it has this beautiful curly texture if you go ahead and pop the hood on the wig let me go ahead and show y'all bow what is it looking like on the inside it has one two three four five six combs and adjustable straps in the back don't worry about these two little straps these are not going to be sitting on the top of your head girl it's not gonna look like a roller coaster at six flags so don't worry about that it keeps it together until you cut them so you cut these off once you apply them so don't worry girl don't worry and when i received this wig of course it came in the eunice hair box let me go ahead and show you what she looks like this is the eunice hair packaging and inside of the box we have all of our gifts you receive a headband some big old lashes girl there's no way a wig cap wow these are light skinned it is. the elastic band let me go ahead and throw this to the side because i'm gonna use that and also we received this little sachet was this a sachet little sachet baggie a little mesh bag of additional gifts which are these hair clips more lashes, a satin bandana, and some more super light skin wig cap. So some of these gifts may or may not in be included in your package, but that's what, it's, what was included in mine. And also they gave me this robe. This robe is available on the Eunice Hair website as well. It has, does it have Eunice Hair on the back? It has Eunice on the back and a little booby emblem, but the booby emblem is really about to it's about to be in my belly button, honey. Girl, I just need to grow some boobs. I don't know what you want from me. Now, all we have to do is put on the wig. I'm not sure how I'm going to apply it. I'm thinking middle part baddie, but she's 16 inches long, so she's not going to be a super long wig. This is going to be perfect for spring. So let's go ahead and get into applying so, this wig. Let's go ahead and start with our base. Why am I doing this? What I need to do is start with the leave out, but I want to see... How much leave out am I gonna need? Can I like measure it? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna need, my leave out is gonna have to be like right here. I got my little lip pencil right here. So I'm just gonna mark it off and then it needs to go back to, I wish I could like mark it off back there but I need to just part it almost to the 
cliff of my head back there but that's how far apart my part needs to be like a really no muss no fuss sort of, sort of wig keep it easy keep it simple and don't make me sweat i like my wigs how i like my man period okay so okay so let's go ahead and start with our base let me take my hair down i told y'all many times before that i'm proud of this little natural wig that i have on my head but let's go ahead and you do our um leave out i'm gonna part it right where i said i would and i need to leave not i don't need to leave out too much um leave out but enough to cover up the tracks now that's based on your hair i have low density hair so i can't be putting out too little i can't be putting out too much so ooh dandruff gang 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 okay so this is the leave out that i got this little section right here what is up with that dandruff girl it really is doing a lot it's doing a lot okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and braid down this section and get it out of the way i'm just gonna do like a this isn't a whole lot of leave out but it's enough right i feel like it's enough girl but we about to do our no edges okay are y'all taking me seriously with this in the middle of my head i can't be talking to y'all like these let me clip this back so let's go ahead and get started with just laying down these edges this is going to be my no edges out applic at wig application i don't leave out my edges on my u part and v part wigs i just don't do it i don't do it I'm gonna do my edges using the Eco Styler Gel. I know Eco Styler is not good for your hair. You ain't gotta tell me, but I like Eco Styler Gel. It works for me. So I'm using the olive oil one. Actually, I need to buy some more of this. And I'm gonna take a baby hair brush and I'm just gonna swoop de doo. It's already kind of brushed back, so that's fine. But I just wanna make sure the hair is like brushed all the way back oh why am i brushing it like that girl so i also like to do like these little baby hairs that make it look like my edges are popping out okay it's giving very much comb over very much y'all let me know if y'all have tried this method before because this is how i've been doing it and it works for me oh it feel all wet on my face <laughs> so that's all brushed down and while that dries we're gonna go ahead and braid down our hair so my combs are only in the front so i'm gonna just do two braids because the combs are only gonna be up here and then i have like another little method that i like to use so we're only going to do two braids. Keep it easy and simple. I'm not trying to make nothing difficult, girl. It's a U-part wig. So I'm just going to clip this hair away. And on this side, I'm just going to go ahead and braid down my hair. Let me actually comb my little hair out. How's it feel to have a lot of hair? <laughs> Y'all let me know down below now someone asked me in the comments and i if i can find your comment i'll leave it on the screen why i don't do anchor braids i used to do anchor braids but because my hair is really really fine ooh, because my hair is really really fine anchor braids like the anchor braids that surround around the u part don't actually stay for me because first i pre-stretch my hair and secondly my hair is super fine and it's just gonna slip out. So my anchor braids don't be given what they're supposed to give. They just don't. And my hair is really thin. So those braids just don't, they don't hold up for nothing, girl. I like to do braids like this because they're much more sturdy and they're not gonna come loose from the pressure of the combs because the braids are going downward. They're much more sturdy. So, and then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. And Okay. 
Okay, so the hair is completely braided down. Girl, it's real tight. I actually got it tight this time. I usually don't get it tight. So I'm gonna turn around. Oh, I'm gonna turn around so y'all can see. Oh. What we're gonna do next is style this wig, but I'm gonna put on my wig cap and my wig grip to protect my base so it don't be shifting around and stuff. Because the U-part wig right now, it still has these anchors on it and I'm not ready to cut them or put anything on it until it's time to apply. You understand what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and toss on the wig. Yes, and walk out the door, baby. <laughs> oh, this is a pretty curl. What a pretty curl, pretty girl. This is really pretty. You can actually wear this wig as a center part. You can wear it as a side part. As you can see, you can wear it like this. Oh, this actually would have been cute, but I'm not doing that. But be mindful that there are ear tabs on this wig so your ear tabs may be touching your eyebrow i don't know i'm gonna show you what the length looks like at the back so you get a full idea of the length of this 16 inch wig what i like to do is get this wig looking like it's my hair and the best way to do it is do a little cut something that works for you and do a little bit of styling so with this wig, I'm just gonna comb it through because I really wanna see like what the length is like, what the curls look like fluffed out, all that stuff, and it's gonna make it easier to style. This hair is easy to comb through. It's real soft too. This is how much, this is how much hair I got in shedding. This is 16 inches of hair, and that looks about right. And y'all know we it's time to cut it, cut it, cut it cut it i'm gonna part the hair down the middle and i'm just gonna trim some of the hair off the bottom the ends aren't really that bad at all i'm just gonna go ahead and cut you see can you see see how them ends is looking i want them to look like real healthy so i'm just gonna cut just maybe what is this an inch and a half off It makes a world of difference to me. So now the hair on the front, do I wanna just leave it? No. The hair on the front, I just kinda wanna layer a tiny bit. And this is not gonna be like heavy layers, it's just gonna be like light layers, like face framing ones. So I'm just gonna angle this down and I'm gonna start my bottom lip. I'm gonna start at my bottom lip and just angle downwards you have to remember this is curly hair and the mistake i continuously make and y'all have seen it before is i cut it way too short because <laughs> i got no sense baby and before i know it i just got two hairs that look like baby hairs just curled up at the top so let's see it's gonna cut downwards like so lighty Okay, now for the hair back here, now that we've cut the bottom, you can kind of see that some of these hairs are a little bit scraggly. So I'm just gonna do a little light layering by sectioning the hair like this. This is not how you're supposed to do it, but this is how I do it, girl. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna cut like that, just to get rid of some of those scraggly hairs at the top. And let's do this right here and then we're done. <laughs> I'm really not trying to do too much. I don't really care. I do kind of care. Why am I acting like I don't care? I care. <laughs> there we go. I know that's right. Okay, now let's do the other side. Y'all, y'all see after this cut, like it just looks so much better. Y'all already know what time it is. 
We're adding moisture to the hair and I'm using the coconut and hibiscus frizz free curl mousse, but I'm also going to use a little bit of water. Now I cannot find this comment to save my life. So if this was you that said this down below. I don't know why I never did this earlier because it's common sense, but since I'd always comment to girls like me, <laughs> let me not read myself, I'm really smart. Anyway, I like to use, I'm gonna use a little bit of water just to moisturize the hair so I don't use as much of this stuff. Cause I had to go to Target and buy three bottles because the girls are buying up all of this stuff and I'm sick of it. I'm gonna use a little water. This is an Amazon spray bottle. And let me just go ahead and part the hair down the middle. Boom. And we're just gonna add some water to it and then we're going to moisturize it and add the mousse to it. We're gonna add a little bit of water and then add mousse to the hair. So let me just do, use a spray bottle. What was that? Oh girl, this water old. Oh girl, I need to change out this water, hold on. Girl. <laughs> I used this water like two days ago. Are you supposed to switch out your water like every day? Just nasty. <laughs> After this, we're gonna add our mousse and I'm going to brush you. There's hair everywhere. And I'm gonna brush through each section using my Evolve 572 brush. Y'all have seen her be featured many, many times before. She's the co-star to my curly wigs. Without her, there would be no me. Just pull this back. I'm gonna clip this up. I'm gonna take some, well, a little bit more water. And I'm gonna take some mousse. And apply it to the hair. Oh girl, I did too much. Oopsie. And then I'm just gonna comb it through. Like that. We don't need to separate these curls until the end because once you clump it, you see that curl? It's giving very much, she's born with it. Let's keep going. Let's go ahead and work through our curls. Our wig is dry. Now we need to get back to the base. Bro, so much time has passed, I've gained a smile line. <laughs> I'm gonna take this off. And we're gonna slick down our edges at the same time. That's called multitasking. For our base, 
what I would like to do is create more uh, more tension towards our base. And what I have been doing or what I've tried before, which worked for me, was um, putting some spray, placing some spray right here in this area so that my cones don't slip and slide. I'm going to use the ORS Olive Oil Super Hole Wig Grip Spray. So I'm just going to spray this down. Oh. Spray it at the root roots of the leave out. And I'm just gonna let that dry for a second. Let's pull this hair back. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna go ahead and, ooh, not right there. We're gonna go ahead and cut off these anchor pieces because we don't need them no more, girl. The hair has been styled. She's basically ready to go. Now you can keep them on if you want to, if you wanna go for a look, but I don't wanna go for a look. <laughs> And I'm gonna tighten my adjustable straps while that dries down. Um, it's pretty much dry. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna work with these sort of combs. Last time I tried this little spray down your little braids method, um, it was with clipping combs. So we'll see if it works with sliding combs. Let's see. I don't use any wig caps or anything because I got a ski slope at the back of my head. It's just gonna fall, fall off. So, ooh, that's, that's tight. Oh, that's tight. Okay, let's do the other side. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's, oh, oh, that's tight. Yes. So I'm just gonna spray the part again and see if I can like, Kind of lay this down to see if it'll stick a little bit because this part be popping up and that gets on my nerves. So do the same thing on this side too. Let's see if it works. I'm just gonna hold it down for a second. We're gonna hold it until to see if it'll stick. Just a little bit. I want to see if it sticks just a little bit. I think it does work. No, not really. It don't. <laughs> kind of keeps it in place though. I don't know we'll see if it slides down my braids or not and it turns into a mullet we'll see we're gonna go ahead and fluff out this hair I'm just gonna fluff out these curls a bit oh that's pretty so this is what the curls are looking like fluffed out but last thing we need to do is the leave out i put out the perfect amount of leave out and all we need to do is part it down the middle and we just need to blend it in so what if i ended the video like this would y'all unsubscribe <laughs> you would i need to just curl up some of this hair i want to wonder how this mousse will work so I like to do like little sections and I like to do like a finger coil method. I'm gonna add a little mousse to it. My hair was straightened this part cause I did another like V part wig video. So I'm gonna see if I can just finger curl it, finger coil it. Uh oh. And I'm just gonna hold it. I hold it for like 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how my spirit feels. So. <gasps> Look at that. Look how pretty that curl is, y'all see? It's still a little wet, but that's fine. I'm hoping it'll dry like that. And even if it curls up a little bit, it's not gonna curl up completely. A little bit of mousse and then curl but we'll see i'll do this for the rest of the hair and then i'll show y'all the finished result so please keep watching while i listen to some mess on my phone
folded in the hair into the U part wig. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side because as you can see, you barely can see any tracks on this side because I gotta do it like a twist in method. I got fine hair, so we gotta do a lot of stuff to make, make some work. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. I'm gonna take the curls, separate them, and then take it and twist it into the hair. And I just take little tiny sections. Okay, y'all, this is the finished look. Do y'all see this? Wait, let me go over this track before y'all. <laughs> this is giving very much, I got tape ends, but I just take them off at night. That's it. The only thing with you part wigs, especially if you have fine hair, is covering up them tracks. That's always been my issue, is covering up the tracks. But if you know how to do it, you good. Cause look at that. Do you see a track? It's like, where's Waldo? Where's the track? It looks good. And this is a wig that I can just pop on and go. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like in the back. Now, if it's uneven, don't, you don't have to worry about me. <laughs> I like to use a disclaimer, but I'm gonna use a mirror and see if it's actually even in the back. Let me show you, let me see. Oh, that's a little hanging piece. And as far as that comb method, let me see if it slid. This side didn't slide much, but I think this side did. Yeah, she's sliding down just a little bit. So, it looks absolutely stunning. I love the hair, love the color. Why am I so bright? I don't like that. I wanna thank you all so, so, so much for watching. I wanna say thank you to Eunice Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. If you would like to purchase this beautiful biolage, 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 if you would like to purchase this beautiful Biolage Curly U Part Wig, I'll leave a link for it down below. Also, I have a coupon code. Y'all know I don't like to leave y'all hanging without no coupon code. I'll leave the coupon code for this wig down below. So the coupon code is my Eunice for 10% off wig purchase. Go ahead and get your money off, clip your coupons. It's that time of the year. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for 60K. We hit 60K this weekend, so. Thank y'all just for being here. I don't know how many times I can thank you, but I truly, truly appreciate every single one of you. And just, ugh, thank you for being here and making my dreams come true. Like, just really thank you. I love you all, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.